increasingly our customers are asking us not just about the next generation of product innovations for doors or instrument panels, but they're also interested in our view on the interior of the future. And those questions really triggered us to initiate a new process, what we called our interior vision process. And it started about two years ago where we uh, pulled three global teams together, cross-functional teams with researchers, designers, engineers, um, to collaborate together on three important topics. These three topics are the future of China luxury. China is increasingly a very important country. Um, the majority of the luxury goods are being sold in China and also premium cars are being sold in China even more than the other regions. The second topic that we asked our teams to investigate was urban SUVs. Um, urbanization is a very important topic, uh, traffic congestion, uh, pollution, and um, uh, increasingly people live in, in city environments. The SUV is a very popular segment. It's the fastest growing segment in all regions globally. So we combined those two. And then the third topic that we've asked our teams to investigate was autonomous driving. It's coming and it's super exciting. So our company's vision is better life on board through automotive interior solutions. So some of the big ideas in this interior is really about creating a premium ambience, really nice leather surfaces, LED surround light, really a comfortable premium ambience. The um, second uh, set of ideas that we've developed for this vehicle is around storage in the interior. Increasingly our customers and our consumers tell us that storage where they can leave and organize their items in the vehicle is important. So we have storage in the doors, we have storage in the floor console, we have a big glove box, easy to reach from the driver's side as well, lots of storage. Even in this floor console we have storage that you can personalize. So. One person wants this, the other person wants it differently. This multi-track timber door technology allows you to truly personalize how you organize your storage. Another new solution is a large, convenient storage position for ladies' purses. It's right here. And uh, this is when we do consumer clinics around the world, we get a lot of feedback from women who don't know where to put their purse in a safe and convenient position. So this is where we put the storage for ladies' purses. And you can put quite a large handbag in there. We have our um, two-way cool box. Uh, let me show you what this is. So here you can keep your drinks and food cool um, for driver and passenger. So in this interior we have integrated three smart surface technologies. First of all, heated surfaces um, to really create a very comfortable way of keeping the, pa the driver and passengers warm in the vehicle. Um, for example, here integrated in the armrest. At the moment, the, uh, the uh, um, uh, options on the market for heated armrests take about six minutes for the passenger to notice the heat. In our solution, it's already within three minutes. So it's value up for the end consumer. The third big idea is really around automated driving. We see this coming in 2025 and there will be steps towards that point in time. But as of 2005, 80% of your commute to work will be the car will be driving itself. So think about the opportunities. Think about the additional time that you have to engage in other things. My commute is about 40 minutes. So half an hour of that 40 minute commute, I can engage in other things. Today I have to drive my car. As of 2025, I will be doing different things. So what will I do? When I go into auto drive mode in this vehicle, the steering wheel pushes back, the seat goes back, so I have lots of space. The redefined um, floor console gives me more leg room to take another position, to talk to the other passengers in the vehicle, but also to do other things. For example, um, some work. I pull out the rotating table, put my laptop here, maybe some food, maybe a book, and I can just relax and do other things.